Your Natchez History Minute is brought to you by Natchez National Historical Park. Prior to the Civil War, Last Island was Louisiana's greatest resort, attracting plantation owners and wealthy merchants with its beautiful hotel and gentle breezes. On this day, August 10, 1856, there were about 500 visitors on the island, including John Davis, his wife, and two children. Davis was a successful New Orleans restauranteur who had arrived in this country from Sorrento, Italy, as a stowaway. His original name was Anthony Aversi, but due to the difficulties in pronouncing his name, by the time he arrived in America, he was known simply as John Davis. By 10 a.m. on the morning of August 10th, gale force winds began to blow over Last Island. By 2 o'clock that afternoon, the first ever documented Category 4 hurricane hit the island with a 12-foot storm surge. Soon, the carcasses of horses and cattle and the bodies of human beings were strewn across the island, into the bay, and for several miles up into the marsh. Not a single building remained standing, and the island was cut into four separate islands. Of the 500 occupants, only about half survived. Most of those survivors had gotten to the steamer Star, which had landed the night before, grounded itself, and thrown out its anchors on the leeward side of the island. Monday morning, John Davis emerged from the wrecked steamer Star, determined to rescue those trapped on the last island. Davis and the ship's captain repaired a small sailboat and set sail for Bayou Buff near Morgan City. Within hours after reaching Bayou Buff on Wednesday, August 13th, the rescue steamer Aubrey set sail for Last Island. When the Aubrey grounded before reaching Last Island, John Davis took a skiff from the ship and continued to the island to let the survivors know that help was on the way. John Davis was immediately recognized for his heroic efforts. A man who was credited with individually saving up to 60 people. A man who had maneuvered a small sailboat through treacherous waters to spread the word of the disaster and then went back with the rescue vessel. In 1857, Davis moved to Natchez, where for the next 40 years he again became a successful restaurateur dying at the age of 86 in 1897. His obituary noted the passing of the hero of Last Island. Hi, this is Pat Burns Jr. and John Davis was my great-great-grandfather and this has been your Natchez History Minute.